Okay, so I'm just going to run through the drawing for this week, Richie, uh, on SolidWorks. So first things first is open up your sheet template. You'll have the sheet template with the School of Education thing down here and the proper standards loaded. I just have a blank one here for this drawing. Um, next thing is you want to go down to your layers here and set up some layers. So how you open, if you don't have this little tab down the left here, is you right click up here on the toolbar and click layer and it'll open this tab. So I have it down here and I have some layers set up. So you want kind of similar layers to this. Uh, the thickness for a finish line is 0.7 and I pick roughly 0.35 for other layers. So I'll just add a center line layer just to show you how to do it. So new, center. I usually make it red. Um, you want to change then your line type. So you just click on it there. And you want to change the weight of the line click on it there. Okay, so now I'm going to start off into my drawing. So sketch, line, and I'm going to pick my x, y, line. If I have one, no, I don't have an x, y line there, so I'm going to throw one in. x, y, uh, I usually make that dark blue. Okay, and I want that to be the 0.7 and the continuous line. Okay, so now here we go. So we picked our x, y layer. We want to draw in a line across. We want to make that line horizontal, so how we do that is hold control, click the line and click horizontal. Uh, it's a good idea then to fix that line, so I fix that line every time. So now I want to move into my finish there. So finished one, and I start with the line here again. So I'll draw one, two, three, and four. So there's my basic shape, and I'm going to start to mention that now. So 105 up this side, 105. I want an angle of 130 in here, 130, and I want a width or a diameter of 80. Now, you see the measurements there, they look a bit messy when you're trying to do this drawing. You can put them back in there. You want to right click and hide. So, right click and hide all them dimensions. Just for now. Uh, the next step now is to draw in the center line for me anyway. Um, so, I will draw in the center line here. So you can pick anywhere, just draw a line down now. Now hold control, click the line and click vertical. Now hold control again, click the line and try and pick up a center point up here or down there. Yeah. And click that and make them coincident. Now that is a center line there. So what I can do now is I can change my layer again back to finished one. I can pick up my circle tool and I can just start to draw in the circle down below here. Now the diameter of that is 80, as you know, from the drone. And you can hide that mentioned there again. Uh, so the next thing to do now is, is to start to mention just how far away that is from there. Whether they want it too far down now. So I usually put that about 75. Now, I'll hide that there again. So the next thing here to do is to draw in another center line. So I'm going to go down here, center line. And I'm going to draw one across the bottom here. Now what I want to do is hold control, click the line, and make that one horizontal. I also want to snap the center point of that line onto this line. So I make them coincident. Oh, missed it. That never happened. Make that coincident. And now I want to snap the line here onto the center point in the circle. And make them coincident. So that's it now. I have that drawn in. So what I can do now is I can go back to a construction there. And I can start to draw in my divisions, my 30, 60, 90 divisions, like you'd be doing with your T square and board. So there's one, two, Three, four, now, so what I want to do is start to mention them, the 30 degrees between all of them. So 30, um, 30 again, 30, 30 here, 30, and 30 here. So now I have them start to mention the 30 degrees between all of them. So I just Hide all these dimensions. I wonder if I hide multiple dimensions in one row. Uh, no. Doesn't seem to be. 
So I do now, and what I'll do now is I'll just show you how to put a label in. I won't put them on in for time's sake. I just click a note, click there, one, and just click outside the box, and that's it. If you want to move that label to the next one, I find it easiest to just click it, control C, control V, pull it down, edit it, double click, and right two. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch again, line, and I'm going to bring all these points straight down. Instead of on to start to mention everything again. All you need to do is set a point on the circle. You needn't worry about the lines being hard or vertical or anything, anything like that. So I don't know what happened there, so I'm going to edit it undo. Uh, I think it drew two lines. I'm going to edit it undo. I'm going to just snap down here to the circle again. Same thing here. So what I'm going to do now is hold control and make all these lines here parallel with this line here. Okay, so that makes them all vertical. So now I have points all around. My 30, 60, 90 divided up all around. What I can do now is I can continue these lines up into the elevation. I need them up there because that's where I'm going to bring my auxiliary from. So again, you needn't worry about them being perfect uh, vertical lines. You can just throw them up there and once you hit the face with them and make a point on it, you're fine. So what we'll do again is just control, click all the lines and then click the center line and make them parallel. Oh, so we have all the points up there now again. So what we want to do now as with any auxiliary is you want to come down perpendicular to this face and draw in the next one by one line down here. So I'll pick line and I'll go back to my center line. I find it's always easier to work with the center line first. And then I have a line that I can bring everything back to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make these lines here perpendicular, same way, hold control. And then I'm going to go back to my XY line and draw in the next one by one line. Draw that across here. And again, hold control, click to do, make them perpendicular. Now, what I'd like to do is just, if I see the center point, I don't think it's going to come up for me. Make the center point that line snap onto that one. Okay, that's fine. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring down, project out all these points. So I'm going to just choose a different layer just for clarity. And we had to project down all the points. So we want every point up here. Come down along. And we want to draw them all down. First. And now what we want to do is make them all parallel with this center line again. Here we go, and one more, and there we go. Now, we have our relation lines gone down now. So what I usually do here is I will evaluate and click the measure tab. Now what I'll do is I'll measure between, now, oh, this is the problem here. What we want to do is we want to put a point here, a point of intersection between this line here and this line here, and the same thing on all of these. So what I do for that is I just go to my point, up here beside the spline tool. I put a point on the circle. I hit control, click the point, click the line, make them two coincident. That means I have a point of intersection now there. I'll do the same thing along here. Now there might be another way to do this. This is just the way I always do it. So now I don't need one there. I might be able to constrain the center point here to this line here. I was trying to do earlier. Uh it's gone again. No, it's there. Okay, that is fine. And we want to uh, three more out here. It just makes it easier that we can uh, measure. We might need them here on this side. I'll just go with these three for now. Just because there's no relationship between the lines and the X1, Y1 line. You can't set to points of the lines in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to evaluate. I need them on them here, sorry. There we go, put that down there. 
3. Points. Então, o que eu vou fazer é o que eu vou fazer. O que eu vou fazer é o que eu vou fazer. Então, eu vou fazer o que eu vou fazer. Eu vou fazer o que eu vou None of them there looks like a normal distance. So what we do is we go again. We see what happened. Why is it taking us all the way up to there? <laughs> we don't know. Anyway, we had 75. We had 75 between the center and the next one, one on our DXY line. So we should have 35 yeah, there. There it is. It's just hidden behind the purple line. So we will need 35 there, and then we will put in a point down here. So what we'll do is we'll throw a point in here in the center line. We'll start to mention it. Start to mention, pick a point, click this line, and 35. Now we'll hide that dimension. Same thing down here then. Throw another point down here. And the diameter there in the middle is 80. It's still going to be 80. So we have hit 80. Now I'm going to extend on that line. Go through it. Now, so if I could hide that now again. And I'm going to do the same thing now on all the rest of them. So if I go for point one here now, and I'll evaluate, measure, I'll pick between there and there. And I have, what have I? 40.36. Now, if I could pin that there, that'd be fine. Sparky point three six, right? Okay. So why can't I pin it there? And anyway, a sketch. Spark dimension. Put a point in first. Put it on this line. And spark dimension and forty point three six. Forty point point. Three, six. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the distance here. Click here to measure, and I'm going to measure between here and here. So we have 69.28. I'm going to put another point on the line down here, and I'm going to start to mention it. And I'm going to start to mention between the two. 69.28. And that's it there. Now what I'm going to do is hide them two dimensions. And I'm going to continue on the whole piece. And I'm going to finish the rest of it the very same as I've started here. So I'm going to just put that out and I'll let you continue with that. And I'll snap back then and show you how to finish off the drawing, okay? So all you want to do is just get your measurements down along and finish it off the way I was starting with there. So now I'm just coming back here and I have all the points drawn in the same way as I was drawn there. So what you want to do now is you want to go back to your sketch, go onto your spline tool, up there we said point tool, and just draw in a spline around. Now I forgot to change my layer before I started, but that's fine because I'll show you how you can change the layer afterwards here. And there we go. There's our true shape. So what we want to do now is change that from the construction layer. So now we click it. We click Finished one. Now, so there's our drawing finished. Simple enough. Uh, what you could do now is you could draw in your central line down here, just make a parallel here and, and step to the midpoint, and you could draw in uh, the XY line, the labels for them. You could label the elevation and the plan. You can turn on and off your layers. I'll just show you that here. Uh, the rest of it is, is fairly self explanatory. From If you just click the eye here, you can turn off the layers. So I'll turn off the two construction layers now. And you can see the drawing a bit easier. Uh, you can just label it the same way I was showing with the, with the annotation and the notes and things like that. And you'll have your title box and all that and put in some of your dimensions and things like that. But that's just the basic gist of how to draw it, okay? Thank you.